Hey, it's Rex Jardigan again with the Elite Home Team at York Castle Real Estate. You know, I wanted to take a close look at last year compared to this year as 2018 gets rolling. You know, our market is still in an unbelievable seller's market with very little inventory of houses for sale. Properties are selling for top dollar right now. And here's a close look at the market straight from the RE Colorado, which is Denver's MLS. So in 2017, in January, we had 3,237 homes sell in Denver, so close. This year, there were 2,935 homes sell. That's down 9% for the number of homes that sold. But you'll see in a moment that the market has already auto-corrected that. Because of the lack of supply, property values as a whole have continued to go up, up, up every year. In January, we're up at another 11% from January of 2017. Now, every neighborhood is different. So if you're interested in your own house, let me know and I'll give you the data on your specific home in your specific neighborhood. Now, we are seeing houses take a little bit longer to sell this year than last. Last year, the average days on market was 45. And this year, it's taking 53 days on average. So that's eight days longer. It's really no big deal, but that's an interesting stat. Now, we're also seeing a lot more listings coming on the market this year in January than last year. Last year, there were 3,809 properties hit the market. This year, it's 4,200. So that's 10% more properties. So the fact that more homes are hitting the market is really important. That means that our inventory is going up. That's really healthy for us. If this continues, buyers will be able to find properties easier and get them under contract easier. So I do expect this to continue over the next few months. That means if you're selling, more competition is coming. So the days on the market might get a little bit longer in the spring. Listing in March will likely be better than later on in the spring and you'll, you'll sell it faster for probably more amount of money at that point. And right in line with more properties coming on the market, we also saw the number of properties going under contract up by 9%. So almost exactly in line with the growth in inventory. In addition, we should see the number of closed deals even out in the next couple of months. So we should see quite an increase of closings from 2017. So I hope this information was helpful and informative. Um, as I mentioned earlier, these are general stats of the entire market all price range, the whole market. Every neighborhood is very specific and different. If you're interested in your neighborhood stats, let me know, I'll be glad to share those with you. Or if you really want to understand more what these mean and what it means for our market, please give me a call. You should also be getting an email every month with the numbers on your specific house. It's a really popular tool. People really love it. If you're not getting that, let us know and we'll start you put, it, we'll put you on that list. It's really helpful. And as always, give me or your agent on our team a call at any time and we're here to help. Thanks so much.